Okay, guys. Uh, today we're gonna uh, talk about uh, how to prevent a consistent restart in your computer. This is a uh, most likely a guaranteed fix. If you follow this guide, uh, you will eventually find uh, there's certain things that you have to do to check if your uh, co if you just to find out if your computer does not restart consistently in a cycle loop. So um, first thing, the common issues that are, that no people face are like, for example, power cable with a power supply. So as you can see, we have a CPU here. I'm just going to put this to one side. So as you can see here, the power cable, if you're going to fit the power cable, make sure the switch is turned off when putting in. Okay. And just putting it in and make sure it's tightly fitted in. Not like... For example, this. So as you can see here, as you can see that that will actually cause a restart or even the system completely shut uh, shut up or sh shut shut off or even a um, a smoke that will you know come from one of your components because you're shortening it. So you'll have to make sure you put, always put that in. Okay. Next, regarding the CPU, just making sure the CPU has the thermal paste or, you know, putting a thermal paste after. This is just an old rig that I've decided to just to show you guys. It's common issues um, to show you that obviously how to lay down the CPU, making sure it's flat um, and no other, uh, no other components is between the CPU and the motherboard. Okay, now, making sure no... Uh, pins are bent so as you can see it's not exactly bent so okay so just placing it where the triangle arrow is pointing so as you can see you do get an indication it does hold so it does fit in nicely so as you can see here so, okay so pushing this down just making sure one last time and just pushing this down and just clipping it so as you can see just clipping this you'll notice it will just clip in just like that okay so as you can see, this is it's not going to go anywhere nowadays. Okay. And uh, this was slotting in the memory. So um, next phase, we'll uh, look into the memory. So it's a common issue regarding the memories as well. So just making sure the memories are fitted in nicely. So we, uh, we're we going to show you guys uh, how. So something like this, for example, quarter of it is going in, but the other one doesn't go in. Um... Okay, let's say, for example, this. So I don't know if you can see it properly, but as you can see, there's a the you haven't fitted in the memory RAM properly. That can cause a restart as well. So just making sure your memory is intact. So as you can see, you heard the clicking, showing that indicating that the memory is um, slotted in nicely. So as you can see here, so I'm just making sure these two pins are inside the memory. So, okay. So if you have two modules, by all means, checking the module, um, putting them uh, neatly and nicely so that it's neatly inside. So always making sure that there's no there's no problem. This is just a rig that I've decided to show you guys that, uh, you know, what are the common causes of restarting. So so we sorted the memory out we sorted the cpu out now we're just we're gonna just put in the cables and just to show you guys um how to go about it so as you can see here fitting the cable is quite simple uh, so putting it in like this making sure it clips in so as you can see here if you can see it clearly so for example if you were to for example do this that ain't gonna cut it so eventually obviously there's a chance of a exploding one of your components or you know frying one of your components or even giving you a hard time just to find out where the problem is especially if you got the motherboard facing like this on your side your desktop okay so just making sure that it just clips in nicely so as you can see there's no gaps in between so as you can see no gaps in between okay next phase um is the cpu uh powering as well you got two two cables that you need to plug into your cpu sometimes there's only just one depending that's the older model but newer ones obviously they sometimes requires four pin require sometimes eight pin um on this side so as you can see just checking on this side you'll notice that there is a clip on so just clipping it on you'll notice it will click 
So there you go, there's a click there. So as you can see here, just again looking, just making sure it's clipped on. Okay, it can be tricky once uh, you fit it in your desk, your 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 motherboard in a de desktop, uh, because obviously you might want to put a like a fan on top of a, a radi fan radiators on top, and this can be quite awkward as well. So this is why there's there's normally a gap in the desktops where you can just fit in like this. Um, okay. But now, obviously, as you can see, this is a standard procedure done. We're just almost there, just waiting for the graphic card. Now, this is the graphic card we decided to fit in, uh, decided to put in, uh, just to show you guys, just a look at our old graphic card, nothing fancy. Just want to show you guys uh, how to go about it, um, just to prevent restarting um, for your system. So, again, you would want to fit this in. It does go in the groove, uh, making sure that... Okay, I'm gonna show you guys here. So if I just show you one second, I think I'll be able to show you guys properly if I were to take this off. Take that off. Okay. Okay, just making sure that your graphic card is slotted in. So as you can see here, I need to remove some cables just to show you guys uh, how to go about fitting in the graphic card. Uh, making sure it's uh, tightly fitted in so again this can be a cause of uh, your system restarting so i'm just going to show you guys a fucking example so example something like this you do not want to do okay this can cause a restarting a loop restarting as well um so just making sure that it's tightly fitted so if you have something like this uh, this is an old motherboard um but so certain motherboards just clip in but as you can see here at the corner you can actually fit that in so obviously just putting wiggling wiggling that in and it just uh, holds it in place but uh, most cases you don't really really need to worry about as long as it's fitted in and screwed to your desktop it's normally fine so as you can see here this is how it looks like uh, with no problems I'm going to show you guys this side as well um, so as you can see fitting it in nicely is the key uh, to prevent a restarting issue so this is just the hardware hardware side of it. So we do have software. If you check out our article regarding this, you'll notice that we have gone in depth regarding it. So just to cater towards everything. So what we can cater towards. So you can check uh, your, our article. This will also prevent uh, certain, for example, temperature. This is making sure you have a right temp, uh, thermal paste. You can also purchase a thermal, uh, thermal paste that is a uh, high quality. Having a high quality th uh, thermal paste will reduce the um, reduce about ten or twenty Celsius down um, for your CPU. Uh, that goes same gold with the graphic card, depending on what graphic card you got. Um, normally, the, the, you know, if you bought a brand new one, it's fine. You don't need to mess around with it. But once it gets uh, to a stage where you're, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, losing its uh, co compound value, then you'll have to apply additional thermal paste regarding that. But other than that, I think we covered most of it. We So as we, we discussed before, we covered the CPU, we covered the memory, we covered the graphic card, uh, we covered the cables, um, the ATX uh, cables that I, need, that I need to go in uh, on the motherboard and the CPU cable uh, that needs to go in there. Other than that, I can't think of anything else, but do leave a, do subscribe, like our videos and comments below. Do let us know if we missed something out um, so we can add uh, more value to the uh, to the article that we got up and I hope you enjoy uh, this video I do appreciate that uh, those that are subscribing and liking our videos thumbs up again thank you very much adios